Course Editing To edit the course main page and add content, we first enable Edit Mode by toggling the icon top right. We can quickly rename our sections from, for example, Topic 1 to a name that's relevant to us by clicking the pencil icon, typing in a new name and pressing Enter. Clicking the three dots on the right allows us to add or modify the summary of this section. Then after saving the changes, you can see the summary on the course page and note how the name change is reflected in the course index on the left. We can move sections by drag and drop, so we could move Topic 2, which is not yet renamed, up above Topic 1, which has been renamed to Reading. To highlight, duplicate, hide or delete a section, we go to the three dots on the right. Remember, deleting a section also deletes any content in that section, but you can get that back from Course Navigation, More, Recycle Bin. The Recycle Bin usually only appears once you've deleted something, depending on your administrator's settings. This course has three topic sections. We can add a new section by clicking Add Topic in the area where we want the section or at the bottom. Note that if we're using weekly format, we can only add a week at the bottom. Items in our course also have those three dots giving access to useful actions, for example, indenting or duplicating. That's helpful if you want several copies, which you'll then edit each with different content. Course activities and resources may also be moved by drag and drop, either up and down the course page, up and down the course index or from one to the other. If you prefer, you can click the three dots and move from there. If we hide an item, for example announcements, by clicking availability, we see the note hidden from students. To view your course as a student would, click the arrow next to your profile top right and click switch role to selecting student and note how the announcements have disappeared. Go back to your user profile, click return to my normal role and you'll see the announcements again. Enable editing again if needed, but if you want to edit the settings or content of an item, you can do this by clicking the item, such as our course rules, and by editing there. No need to enable editing for this. Click the short name of the course to return to the main page. If we click Bulk Actions near the top right, checkboxes then appear against individual items and sections, allowing us to perform actions in bulk from the footer, such as changing their availability, moving, duplicating, and even, if enabled by our admin, sharing on MoodleNet. Finally, to add content such as pages, files, assignments and so on, with Edit Mode enabled, we click Add an activity or resource at the bottom of a section or hover our cursor anywhere on the course page and click the plus.